What's going on, everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine um, early, early Wednesday morning? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, real quick, um, this is going to be a video that isn't really talked about much as far as, um, you know, in baseball, stuff like that. It might be, but I'm not too certain. Uh, we're talking about um, excuse me, let's get my mic here. Um, baseball sunglasses. Um, so the question is, regular or polarized? That's the question. You know, I had I had at least one email asking me what brands do I use. Uh, this, this, and that. So I'm going to get into that in another, in another video, uh, maybe within the next few days and stuff. So um, in baseball, you would want regular sunglasses. And in my opinion, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, because grass, dirt, uh, polarized lenses for baseball are really not essential for baseball because grass, dirt, your players, they don't really give off a lot of glare. So, in other words, you really don't need polarized sunglasses. Uh, basically, polarized sunglasses hinder your depth perception on the field. Depth perception is your ability to see objects and, you know, three dimensions, including their size and how far away they are. Yes, I'm reading some notes because I wrote them down. So um, they can hinder your depth perception on the field. And like I say, your depth perception is your ability to see objects in three dimensions, including their size and how far away they are. So uh, polarized sunglasses are really mainly for water and out driving you know when you're out driving you see that glare coming off the car that and uh like out in the snow uh out in the snow stuff like that because when when you're in snowy you have snow on the ground and it's sunny that glare coming off the snow it just kills your eyes it basically makes it more comfortable uh polarized sunglasses make them more comfortable for viewing and you're not doing this all the time so and it also keeps you from gaining headaches as well while you're out in the sun and you know you're using polarized sunglasses so good for water sports not for baseball so basically polarized sunglasses they have strips of polarization are vertically laminated put in into the lenses the vertical strips block horizontal light, only letting vertical light in and therefore reducing glare. You see the baseball, you see the position, the baseball positions differently with the polarized sunglasses because they filter out horizontal light. Okay, this is this is in my own words. I just wrote it down. So uh, the baseball's position is different with regular sunglasses because it doesn't change the dimension of the baseball as polarized sunglasses would change the dimension of the baseball because they filter out horizontal light you're seeing the baseball in one dimension with polarized sunglasses rather than three dimensions because the filter light they filter the light with polarized sunglasses so uh, in other words Polarized sunglasses are not beneficial for baseball. So you're seeing, it's like I said, it changes the ability to see objects in three dimensions. Three dimensions. So when you wear polarized sunglasses, you're, you're blocking out all the vertical, uh, all the horizontal, uh, what is it, vertical, horizontal, the vertical strips block. It's blocking the horizontal light, excuse me, because I got my notes right here. So I'm not scientist i'm not none of that but uh they i've seen it to where they've 
kind of went uh, on the baseball field and they says, hey, look, it's, it, it, you know, it changes your depth perception, basically, is what it does. And so what is depth perception again? It is your ability to see objects in three-dimensional. When you wear polarized sunglasses, it's in one dimension because it blocks out the um, horizontal light. So leaving vertical light come in. So how do you know if you have a pair of polarized sunglasses? There's one or two ways. So um, I have a pair of prism polarized right here. Okay, prism polarized. Then I have a pair of um, Velo, uh, Velo sunglasses right here. These are just regular uh, sunglasses. So a, a lot of the times when you buy them, you can ask. They polarized. It'll say it on the lens too. Uh, I don't think these prism polarized say it, but you'll get some sunglasses that have it wrote in the corner that say polarized on it. So now a little trick that I learned uh, a while back is uh, here's my daughter's iPhone right here. Okay, here's my daughter's iPhone stitch. <laughs> so what you can do is you put on your prism polarized sunglasses or whatever polarized uh, sunglasses you have. And I'm going to try to do this uh, through, through the phone lens here. Okay, I'm going to put that up there. And if you look through here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it will make a kind of a glit, uh, like almost a rainbowy effect. With this is her, this is an Apple iPhone. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it makes a rippling effect. That means they're polarized. Now, I'm going to take the velos, put them up against the screen. Let's see if I can do this. I'm sorry, folks. And as you can see, it doesn't really do the ripple effect like the polarized does. See there? Go up and down. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Let me move this case on the floor here. Do it one more time. This is the prism polar. This is the polarized. Don't know if you can tell it or not. Right there. Here are the regular. Um, these are the velos. I'm gonna put that up there. And let's see. It doesn't do. It does not do the rainbow, almost the rainbow effect. I call it a rainbow effect because, so there. Now, that's one way you can tell. If I put these on and I look down at my daughter's phone, you can see a, like I said, not really a rainbow effect, but it, it has a different, uh, yeah, pretty much a rainbow effect. <laughs> it's kind of hard, but you'll see a different, um, it's just, it just looks totally different. Then when I put on the velos, I'll put on the velos here and I look down, it does not do that. It's just a clear screen. It doesn't have that wavy rainbowy effect to my daughter's phone. So now that being said, um, people ask, Polarized versus regular sunglasses in baseball. Regular sunglasses. As, as I said before, polarized are only good for basically uh, water, sports like boating, all the types of stuff. Um, and also on snow, when you have snow and it's really bright outside, that, I mean, that snow just gives off a huge huge uh glare so you would need polarized sunglasses for that 
Baseball, no. Like I said, it hinders your depth perception and ability to see like a baseball in three dimension rather when you wear polarized sunglasses in one dimension. So if anybody has any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.